Well, hello again folks, and I hope you're still all fitting well out there. Now, the last time I hit this field must have been over a year ago, and I managed to get six hooded crows, which pleased the farmer no end. But, as all us country folk know, farmers don't stay pleased for very long, and he's been asking me to come back and take another crack at the hooded crows, as he's just put the lambs out into the field. And I've come down this morning to do just that. I've already got my hide set up in the hedgerow, the little pop-up hide called the bush, which I've covered with one of the two-ply stealth camo nets with a wee bit of added raffia grass tied to it, just to help it blend into the hedgerow a wee bit better. But at the minute, I'm busy setting out a dead rabbit for bait and a dead hooded crow on a little wire cradle that I make as a decoy hoping that this will bring the birds down into the ground where I can get a shot at them with the air rifle. And the air rifle in question is a Mark I FX Crown with a 500mm barrel which I've tuned to shoot the H&N 21 grain .218 slugs at about 900 feet per second. And it's not long until the hooded crows spot my decoy set up and give me a noisy flyby just out of camera shot. The two birds finally showed themselves on the camera in a way, flying along the distant horizon at the top of the field only to land just over the rise. It's almost as if they're peeking over the rise to just about see me and the uh, decoy set up but not to expose themselves too much. They definitely seem very wary this morning but before long the first bird dropped in. It had been sitting up on a tree to my right watching the bait and the decoy for quite a while before it finally committed. It's about a 40 yard shot, which is what my rifle is zeroed for. The shot's good, but the bird still does a runner before flopping over dead in the grass. It seemed like a good upper chest shot but I've always maintained these hooded crows are tough birds. Even though I had just shot that crow, there wasn't a peep out of the rest of the birds. In fact, the only bird that was making any racket was a pesky magpie sitting on top of a tree just to my right hand side, as this old girl took her lambs through the middle of my decoy spread. So, since I'd neither heard nor seen anything of the other hooded crows, I decided to go out and lift the bird I'd just shot and set it up as a decoy, hoping that that might liven things up again. After a while, I noticed some other birds in the distance. But they weren't hooded crows, but rooks. Now they're just plodding about the field looking for earthworms, slugs and leather jackets and don't really do the sheep any harm so I leave them alone. Oh, sounds like the hooded crows are back. And notice how the rooks fly off as soon as they spot the hooded crow floating in across the horizon. Well, looks like they're still keeping their distance, but notice how unlike the rooks that keep themselves busy digging away for earthworms and that, 
The hood at crows like walking around the lambs, like teenagers looking for some sort of mischief to be up to. And here's a bird that knows all about mischief. Yep, magpies. Now, I know this might look bad to some people, but honestly, that bird's probably just up there for a better view, or just looking for parasites like ticks around the sheep's ears and that, as the sheep can quite easily shake it off if it's not happy with it. This time is different though, as the magpie has spotted two young, unattended lambs sunning themselves in the field while their mother's grazing nearby. It's gingerly worked its way around behind them, then pecks at one of their rear ends, as this is one of the soft spots they like to go for, eyes, tongue and the anus. Thankfully though, these two lambs were old enough and strong enough to get up out of the way, and mother isn't too far behind. But you can easily imagine in bad weather when the lambs are cold and wet and don't have the energy or strength to get up out of the way, things could be so much different. Back to the task at hand though, and after sitting for another hour or two, another hooded crow finally appears. It looked like a good hit, but again, the bird's doing another runner. I think the bird turned a little just at the last minute, and I hit it a little too far forward. I quickly reloaded, and got a second shot off, which the bird seemed to shrug off completely, then just dropped dead in the grass in front of me. I wasn't too happy about it, but at least it's down and I didn't have to leave the hide and chase it round the field. This time though, the hooded crows spotted the dead bird straight away, and even though they flew overhead noisily, none of them would land on the ground unfortunately. So again, once I thought the rest of the hooded crows were out of sight, I left the hide and set up the bird I just shot as another decoy. But unfortunately they weren't out of sight and they spotted me as I could hear the alarm calls in the background as I tried to hurriedly get into the hide. But the magpies mustn't have seen me as one of them landed in the ground in front of me. Though I was a little too slow at getting the crosshairs on him. A few of them had gathered in a tree to my right, but I can't shoot them here as I'd be shooting towards the farmhouse. But it wasn't long before I got another opportunity. And this time I was a wee bit quicker on the ball. The shot totally poleaxed him. Those h and slugs certainly have no problem with magpies, though they are a lighter built bird than the hooded crows. Magpies are just too quick for me today, even with the Tacticam. I'm to get wet. Well, things went pretty quiet after that, and even though I did get another flyby by one of the crows, nothing more would land, so I decided to call it quits. Okay, we'll see how we're done. Not as well as what I hoped, but something's better than nothing. I've got a uh, dead crow I had shot another day, set up in a little wire cradle as usual, dead rabbit for bait, 
and uh, I think it was that bird there I shot. That was pretty quick to come down early this morning. I was late here, so I had to leave the wife off to work this morning, so that was bright. The bird was already up and about. So I was actually quite happy that bird came down pretty quickly. It ran a few yards and then dropped dead after getting shot in the chest by the uh, 21 grain h and slug. This bird took a while before that one came down after I set that first one up as a decoy. I just use a, a little bit of wire to prop their heads up. That one needed two shots, which I was a bit disappointed at. That. First shot was on this shoulder. You can see it well enough hit. Hit around the distance it did. Second one I got, don't know, somewhere in through the back there as far as I remember. Hit around another yard and finally killed over thankfully, but we have it to book. And then there's a magpie over here somewhere. There it is there. So I got no problem with that. In the chest. Dropped it like a bag of spuds. Couldn't really see much more damage than what a pellet would do, but it uh, certainly had no bother killing it clean on the spot. Everything's wet. The weather's closed in. I'm not sure if it is going to dry up or not, but I'm going to call it quits. And the sheep are coming through into the field anyway, so good time to call it. Go home, dry clothes, shower and so forth. Cheers, bye folks. I'll just give the field a wee tidy up before I go, hey. The birds are all covered in rain droplets, so maybe that's why the rest of the crows wouldn't decoy after the rain came. Who knows? Well folks, I hope you enjoyed that. It's a shame I didn't get more of them, but that's hunting for you. It's probably because I didn't get set up to later in the morning, but at least I got out of the house and I had a go at them. Anyway, till next time, take care and look after yourselves, hey.